day two made a little bit of progress. Uh, so this is the gargantuan plate of death um, from day one. No. This one is far better. Um, okay, first of all, these rails, if you take them from here and put them like that, like I have done here, um, they take up like a way lot less space. Um, so, let <clears throat> me scoot down so I'm not a shaky mess. Here we go. Okay. Um, this distance, we've cut that in half um, or more. So, everything's just nice and snug. And we've got the rails on the sides now. It's just like super low profile and good. Um, angle iron instead of uh, the box tube. <clears throat> and instead of that gargantuan plate in the middle, um, we just have these two. Let's see if I can get in here. Come on. Are you in there? There's just a little plate going between the two pieces of angle iron. So a lot, <clears throat> a lot better um, overall. Very happy with the Z-axis. Um, now, that being said, i got to make it again, but <laughs> we'll get to that. So, um, big plate. Okay, <clears throat> I, have, um, I have now laid out the whole machine in full size. This is like a storyboard or a story pole for any carpenter people. And um, so this is a gantry upright. Okay, and this guy is a gantry upright. It's made out of this uh, box tube, and then there'll be a diagonal gusset as well, made out of the same material. But let me jink back here. So from there to there, that's the, that's the machine, All right? And there's there's my hand, so you can get like size, I guess. Um, Everything is pretty good. Um, I got all my math done, like where these pillow blocks need to be, where the motor needs to be to land somewhere where I can get a mounting plate, um, and then also the offset of where this nut is going to attach to the Z-axis to, um, to travel both directions before the nut bottoms out. Um, so everything's centered, basically. So I've done all that math. That's great. Um, uprights, I figured all, everything out. So super duper happy. Big problem with this. Actually, nothing wrong with that. But here is the issue I've got. Um, that right there is a steel frame cross member. Actually, let me show you that. My cross members, these, these two steel guys that are going to go horizontally that the rails are going to attach to that is going to be a piece of box tube on edge as a strong back and then <clears throat> another one on top like that so we'll have the width we need um, for the uh, screws from the rails to go in and we've kind of got the best of both worlds I think we're gonna have a really really nice rigid rail welding these two together but the problem, okay, so back to what I was saying, the problem. So there's the one inch and there's the inch and a half below at the strong back. Same thing there from, boonk, right there, there to there. And um, lo and be friggin' hold this pillow block. The center of the bolt hole lands on the very edge of the metal. <laughs> it, it could not land in a worse place. Um, it, it just half on, half off with the bolt. So these have nothing to bolt to. So I have the option of using these four holes. I don't know if you can see those or not. And putting a plate this way. Um, but I, I just, I'm, I'm kind of hesitant because I'm going to have to kind of fish a piece of metal. It's just a real funky way of doing it. Um, so instead, <clears throat> I've decided to go ahead and vary the width of these rails thus I'm required to rebuild the whole z-axis to get this guy up a little bit um, in the grand scheme of things uh, I again I'm kind of getting all the proportions in my head now that I'm seeing it full size and I've got a big chunk of motor sticking out here 
and um, so I can kill a lot of birds with one stone here. I can get this guy, this rail, up a little higher. So, um, so we're going to be stiffer this way. I think that's just good. Um, also, we're going to be better this way because we've got um, obviously with this guy up, we've got you know uh, more leverage on this side and the. Um, this motor, the top half of the bracket and the motor won't be cantilevered out, you know, just flopping around. So, and then in addition, I can actually extend these rails to um, right where the motor mount is going to be. There'll be a plate. I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to do a plate like this and then um, put some, uh, some one inch box tube around it. So it'll be a, a real super heavy duty plate um, with uh, um, with that box tube being a nice uh, spot to weld uh, brackets to. So in essence that mounting plate obviously will fit here, the box tube will be about right here and then I can run, I can literally run this directly up to the frame that's going to hold the motor um, and uh, I don't have to screw around making you know custom doodads or brackets so um, so that'll work. So the long and short of it is <clears throat> day two, I've got the design finalized. I'm super happy with it. Um, these clamps and this bar stock is just temporary to keep these flat. I've got to figure out how I want to affix. Oh, hey, I got that. Wait, excuse me, Bondo, excuse me. Um, here. See about like I don't know that or so. Get that cord. Okay. Hey. Um, yeah. So something like that actually. Let's see. Like that. So I got to figure out the mounting plate for the router, and then uh, it's got to be removable, so I can put the 3D printing head on and then a Dremel tool for doing um, PCBs, and if I ever buy a proper spindle motor, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, I have to figure out, wait, there, uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this plate, and if I'm gonna do like threaded studs, you know, inserts, or weld a nut on the back, or thread the material, or whatever, um, to, uh, to just make it universal, so I can bolt on any plate there. But, um, again, design finalized, Super happy with it. I just gotta kind of make it fit. Um, so I'm gonna rebuild that tomorrow. Um, figure out all my math. I got the gantry rails figured out. I just gotta widen the actual rails. Um, the height of the rails off of the deck. These two lines. That's that's two layers of MDF. That's the actual deck. And I figured out the travel of Z and how far the router is going to stick down, and thus where that needs to be. So that's cool. And um, and that be it. Um, making some, some progress, making some headway. It's uh, I'm happy. I'm much happier than I was yesterday. Um, and I'm not real bummed out about having to make this again. It's just going to be a whole, whole, whole lot of drilling. Um, there you go. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada bing. Um, day two. Not bad. All right. Ding.